Hey guys, so today is Monday actually, and well, I was supposed to start my crafty week yesterday on Sunday, but I was late, so basically I was stitching until, well, I was stitching like a little bit, and I was stitching pretty late, so I just wanted to update you on my yesterday's progress, plus some new stuff that I have planned. Um, so I started this crafty week on Sunday and I started it with this project. This is one of my chimeras, um, the one that I am going to keep stitching. Hopefully it will uh, go a little better. I don't know why, but I do not have this urge, I guess, to stitch it all the time like I do with the lighthouse. For some reason, I'm just dying for the lighthouse. I don't know why. Maybe it's the canvas, the net that I'm stitching on. Maybe the threads. Maybe the design. I don't even know what drives me to it. But this is a beautiful picture. I mean, um, it is. <laughs> but for some reason, it's kind of... I'm going, picking it up, and then I'm stitching like... A little bit and then I'm getting tired of it maybe it's because it's all red I don't know why but um, this is one of the three chimeras that are going to stay in my rotation for now because I've decided not to keep stitching my octopus not octopus octopus have already finished not to keep stitching my um, uh, Scorpio because well, it's really uncomfortable for me to hold the frame because it's really, really heavy. It's a Millennium frame and I I just can't find another position that's comfortable enough for me to stitch. I don't want to lay it or anything. I don't have a stand for like a floor stand that I can put my frame on for now, but um, I don't. Also, I don't want to change the organization for those projects, like the, uh, what's with the octopus? Um, like the um, <laughs> Scorpio and the Joy Sunday project with the lighthouse, the other one that is also on the Millennium Frame. So basically I'll put every project that I have on the frames aside. I don't want to change the organizations again because I really, really like the way the fabric is stretched on the frame and I don't see how I'm going to stitch those projects on other types of, you know, frames, hoops, Q-snaps, whatever. So I prefer to put it aside and then when I feel comfortable enough, I'll come back to it. Maybe even during this time until I give birth because um, I do not say that I will, will not touch it anymore for like 100%. Maybe I'll find some way to come back to it in a way. <laughs> but for now, I'm just taking a break. And let me just show you how much I have stitched this is, I do love the way the thread's looking. Can you see? Like every cross is so straight. It's fluffy. I do little, you know, micro, <laughs> how do you call it? And um, everything is looking, focus, everything is looking very, very good. Um, again, I don't have this drive to stitch it, so I stitch it a little bit and then I go to something else. So let's see how much I stitched on Saga and then move to the other project that I was stitching. And this is it. This is the fragment that I stitched yesterday. 29% done. And this is the hole, like not the hole because there's the bottom and the top missing, but this is how it's supposed to be looking. It's really, really beautiful, but it's kind of difficult to stitch again. So anyways, we're opening this. My phone is not focusing. I am filming on my phone. <laughs> anyways, um, this is what I was stitching. This is part of the chart. Opening this up. Yesterday was the 16th. It was Sunday and I have stitched 222 crosses so as you can see i do not 
stitch a lot of this. I was only stitching this for four days altogether on the th 31st, 11th, 12th which is like day after day and the 16th i'm trying but i cannot keep stitching it without getting tired of it so yeah anyways hopefully i will pick it up again um 29 it's not that much <laughs> but it's just a little piece out of a whole project so again it's taking me a little while anyways today I have started stitching my favorite and this is it so this is my lighthouse this is my favorite project and as you can see I have progressed with it quite a bit I did took a photo of how it looked like before so I will insert it right now and as you can see I did progress a little bit today I was working today like until I came home at around um, maybe 6.30 or something. So I didn't have a whole day of stitching. But as far as I got, it's pretty good. So let's see how much I have stitched on my program. And I haven't actually gone out of this one. So where is it there it is so 16.2 percent are done with and that's a good number i'm getting closer to the 20 and i cannot wait to cross the 20 and sorry for the angle but i'm kind of uncomfortable lately sorry anyways this is what i'm thinking thinking <laughs> this is what i'm stitching right now and today, the 17th, I have stitched 611 half crosses, which is a good amount. It's not crazy because yesterday I have stitched, not yesterday, on the 15th, I have stitched 1,525 half crosses, which was a great, great progress. So this is, well, this is, um, this is good, 611th, and, and it's kind of, in between so yeah anyways just a little bit left and then i reach the 20 percent can you see how beautiful the stitching is i love the way threads are sitting on this canvas this is again this is not a fabric this is a goblin net it's a net it's not a fabric so it's a little bit stiffer and it is so fun to stitch on plus half cross with two strands is looking amazing you cannot see the fabric and the threads are not pushing each other so it's great and I am loving this this is one of my favorite if not the favorite project that I am stitching so now um the thing is that with me not continuing to stitch the two projects that I have on the frames, which are, again, the Joy Sunday Lighthouse and the Himera. Um, why do I keep wanting to say octopus? Maybe I need to stitch another octopus. Anyways, um, the Himera... <laughs> Gosh, what what's going on with me today the scorpio <laughs> the chimera scorpio i keep wanting to say octopus for some reason um so i'm putting them aside and i decided to pick up a smaller project um i wanted to start stitching a pillow but i don't have all the <laughs> ingredients i guess you can say all the materials for it and I don't really want to go buy new stuff because I have quite a bit so um, I was thinking of ordering the kits but um, maybe I'll do that a little bit later maybe next month I'll order uh, two pillows and for now I just want to start a smaller project but a beautiful one so I have uh, gone through my kits and this is what I came up with. I have two kits that I am going to start. And hopefully 
they will not take me that long because I really like the way they look. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is it. Um, another real is I have other companies in my collection. A small collection, but <laughs> a collection. But for some reason, I always pick up Rioli's kits. I don't know why. <laughs> I just love that company. I love their charts. I love their kits. So maybe that's the reason. Maybe not. But these are two of the kits that I've ordered quite a while ago. And there are actually three pictures in this. This is a... How do you call it? Triptych? Or something? Um, this is a Chinese theme and one is Sakura Pagoda and one is Sakura Bridge. So this is how it looks like. It actually has um, not only thread in this, it has also um, beading. So it has all the white stuff on the trees are beads so this is going to be really fun to do as you can see this is the bridge there are actually people in there and this is the pagoda which is pretty beautiful too so um the thing is that this theme had also a larger um one that's supposed to come in the middle you see like there were three in the same collection but i um i don't know why i didn't buy the larger one maybe my things my thought was that i will start with the smaller ones and if i'll enjoy them i will order the larger one and then i will frame them all together but um, I ended up not ordering them because I st was starting stitching other stuff. So this kind of went aside. But it is a beautiful kit. Um, the colors are amazing. The colors are actually quite the same. But um, I don't know. I need to open one of them to see. A lot of teals because there's a lot of blue. A lot of sky around. Some beautiful reds. Um, I need to order order i need to open one of the kits just so we can see what's inside and i will definitely do that but let's see what we have in this kit okay so this kit contains a color chart of course like realis always give you 14 count white swigard aida encore thread which is amazing i love encore strands 24 colors an organizer of course and one type of beads two needles well everything you need for a project i only need a q-snap and then i can start doing this so um i was thinking of starting one of two and maybe i'll start with the bridge just because there's less of the trees in here and i haven't stitched the beads on any cross stitch before so this will be a new beginning for me and um, the light is falling and it will be really interesting to see how it goes so let's open this kit and we'll see what's inside and well i guess tomorrow i will be able to start it finally starting something new it's always so fun so i will open this right now and show you what we have inside this kit Alright, so I removed the nylon so it won't do too much noise. And this is what we have inside. It comes like this with this card and, and you can just open it and see what's inside. It's really interesting because I didn't open it yet. So let's open this thing. And we have threads. Oh, it's so... It feels so good to touch threads. Um, there's a little baggie. That's the first thing I can see with be beads. Focus, not. It has white beads. Come on, focus. There we go. White beads, beautiful beading. Uh, and it has a little beading um, needle. So that's a great thing because this is going to go on the project now next we have the threads there are not a lot of threads in, the, in this project just because it's not a full coverage piece so you get i guess you don't really need enough 
more thread than this but look at these colors this is going to be so colorful and beautiful i'm sorry for my nails but they are getting better from the acrylic that i used to have sorry so this is what we have there are not that many colors in here i mean not many colors but not that many you know threads so we have a lot of this i guess that goes in the tree uh what can i tell you from my you know riolis <laughs> history i guess um you always get enough thread they always give you more than enough and if you don't waste your thread like crazy um, you will definitely be left with full organizers so i can definitely trust that riolis gave us enough thread now uh we have the fabric which is 14 count Svigard aida it's not big it's kind of small ish but it's enough for this project and we have a needle so this is the fabric well everybody knows 14 count it's not my favorite but it's the largest that i can go and now i am not going to show you the whole chart but this is a little piece of it this is actually how it looks like the paper is matte so you can uh, use a marker to mark things off i will not recommend to mark something with an opaque marker because you have backstitch in here and we have the beading in here so you don't want to cover that up and yeah this is going to be really interesting stitch and i think it's going to be really really fun so um yeah this is what's inside this kit tomorrow i do have some plans for uh morning time <laughs> but i will definitely be starting this tomorrow because i cannot wait because i am crazy like that and i will update you tomorrow night on how it goes and how fast it will progress so wish me luck and have a great week and have a great progressive <laughs> uh, stitching week and i will see you in the next clip look is back <laughs> That's my box from my octopus. And yes, I started my new project today. I actually uh, had like a half day of stitching, but well, it's not a very difficult project to do, but still it's a new one. So you need to get used to it. But I decided to use this little box. I really love it for organization for a project. So I took out the stuff that I had for uh, my octopus in there I still had it in there and I put the threads aside and threw the um, you know unnecessary stuff out and now this box contains my new kit and it's the bridge Sakura so let me open this up first and show you how or more accurate what I have inside and then I'll show you my progress for today so okay Let's just put this this way and open this up and this is what I have inside. So I kept the main page just so I will be able to show you or remember how it's supposed to look like. So it's the preview. This is how it's going to look like. It's really, really delicate looking. So I... I am sure that this is going to look nice it's not exactly my um type of projects that i usually go for because i like the brighter colors but what's going on with the cars outside but um still i decided to go for this one because it's not a difficult stitch plus um i don't know i just wanted to do that so this is number one next what i had inside well this is actually I don't know what I kept it in there it was in this box for a while now but okay that doesn't bother me I have this little marker this is um, oh gosh this is a water erasable pen actually they 
do disappear before you even wash the fabric. I mean, they don't disappear, they fade a lot. So I just used it, I will show you in a second for what. I didn't uh, line my fabric all together. I just dotted some areas so I'll know where I'm supposed to start. So this is um, what a erasable marker. Now, this is what I use to mark um, on the chart, you know, to take out the symbols. And this is actually a marker that is working like this. It's interesting, isn't it? I haven't seen those for a while now, so I had it for a long time and I didn't even use it once. So I decided to use this for this project because I want my chart to be I don't know how to say it, maybe viewable. <laughs> um, I want the symbols to show from behind the marker so I'll know more or less what I'm stitching. Plus, it will help me with the backstitch. There's not a lot of backstitch, but still there is. So I will use this one. I actually am using it already. Um, my favorite little scissors my favorite little golden scissors that I kept in this box until now and yep I did cut up the you know huge piece of paper that was inside this kit I took off cut off the key and this is what we have this has 23 colors and 10 blends out of the out of the 33 colors and this last symbol is the beading so we have like i showed you before the bag of beads beautiful white beads and that's inside here too um and of course the threads which i am already using the threads are in here as well with some needles that i actually didn't use yet but I kept it in there in case I'll lose my needle like always because I always tend to lose needles which is really bad keep your needles safely you know pinned somewhere even when you finish the project because I really do tend to lose my needles and that's really dangerous because I have cats and somebody can step on it so you don't want to do that so let's move on to the project and i'll show you how i progressed for today all right so this is what i have um actually i'm not really okay with the way it is organized right now i just decided to start it this way because um i didn't have a smaller Q snaps and I didn't want to change my other projects that were on the Q snaps. I only had these bigger ones that I used for my octopus. I'm sorry, this is a pillow behind. I just wanted to lay it in a way so you can see. So I have just put it on here because my plan was to start stitching it on a hoop. This is my Norgi hoop and as you can see it's round so the whole project isn't round so I wanted to put it like this like put the hoop in because the way it holds the fabric it's like a drum it does leave indents in the fabric but once you take it off um, I mean it takes like a little while and then it goes away so I am going to put on the hoop right after I film this because I just wanted to start from the bottom you know just go a little bit around so I can you know put the hoop on without the fabric hanging from the sides because I wanted to start from the bottom and I, I, didn't I just say that? <laughs> Well, it wasn't really comfortable for me to start this on a hoop. So I put it on here in the fabric. Well, I actually rolled this thing a little bit, but the fabric was pretty flimsy and I don't like stitching on a flimsy fabric. Anyways, I am going to change this. This is not going to be on Q-snubs because the fabric is not large enough for this one. And I don't have another smaller Q-snubs for now, so I'm going to use a hoop. 
Um, now, what I have done, can you see the little dots? I haven't marked the whole thing, I haven't lined it, just marked a little bit on the bottom so I'll be able to see where my threads are supposed to be so it will be like more or less in the middle and then I will just keep stitching without like I did over here. So for now, this is what I have. All of these are like one strand on a 14 count. So. It is a little weird looking for me at least, but when you look at it next to the pinks, which are already stitched, you know, just a little bit, but it looks like a little bit of um, 3D effect because some of the crosses are with two strands. We will have like three strand half cross, we'll have one strand half cross, and like two strands if I'm not mistaken so it will all have like a 3d effect plus it will have beading on it so it will look very nice but this is what I have for sorry I just turned off my camera anyways this is what I have for now this is how the crosses look I've already stitched a blend as you can see and the little dots don't mind the little dots because they are going to disappear they are washable the marker comes off really easily so they are not a problem at all I'm going to wash this after I finish this project and just after I wash it I will stitch the beads on because I don't want to wash the project with the beads so it is going to be a very delicate a really really delicate project as far as I can see and we'll see how it will progress I think I've had quite a bit of a uh, you know progress um, since I started this only today so I think if I'll keep it on I can finish it in a couple of weeks um, we'll see we'll see hopefully it will be a good project for me and I will not get tired of it because like I said I am kind of a larger project type of girl <laughs> plus I like the more colorful charts I mean projects but that's fine because I just wanted a smaller project for now just so I can you know like stray away from my um, framed not framed but the project that I have on my frames which I had a problem with um yeah so that's about it for tonight I'm thinking maybe I will go do some diamond painting because last week I haven't done it at all and it looks like this week I don't have the urge for it either I don't know why maybe because I don't enjoy the outcome of the projects that I get and I am a little frustrated with that and maybe that what keeps me from you know having to you know want to do some diamond painting I don't know we'll see maybe I'll keep stitching tonight maybe I will do some diamond painting we'll see after I finish filming but for now I have some time before my husband comes home so um, it's about 10.30 right now, night time, so I have like two hours. He's supposed to be home at 12, and we'll see. I haven't decided what I wanted to do. Anyways, um, tomorrow is a day, well, I have two more free days from work, but both of these days I'm supposed to go to another town, so... We'll see how I'll be able to stitch. I guess I will have like half day of stitching both of the, these days. So we'll see. Anyways, I am hopefully I'm going to update you tomorrow on my progresses. And hopefully I'll have a progressive stitchy day tomorrow too. So I'll see you in the next clip. So today's the 20th. And it's almost the weekend. But I wanted to update you on what I've been stitching for the last two days because I haven't been filming yesterday and I actually was stitching the same thing yesterday as I was today. So I decided not to film yesterday just to 
you know, I didn't want to repeat myself again and again. And yeah, so this is what I've been doing. Um, this is two days worth of stitching. So as you can see, I've already progressed quite a bit with this one. It's an easy stitch, it's a very easy stitch, but it has so many different types of stitches that it's actually kind of fun because I've never done something like that because it's not a full stitch and I'll try to make it a little closer can you see it already has like a one um, one uh, thread or one one strand stitch or a half stitch it has two strand half stitch with a blend and it's supposed to have a different blend with two strands after I do that um, a little bit higher so it actually gives you this 3d effect plus it gives you a little bit of um, you know color transformation I guess gradient gradient as it goes up and I think it's looking very delicate and really pretty um, it's not really my choice of stitch not something that I usually go for. I do prefer a full coverage piece plus I do prefer a larger piece but as I said this is just um, you know a project. Meanwhile as I go because I really want to stitch new stuff all the time and this is something that I can do pretty fast so uh, we'll see how long it will take me but I think that it will be Really pretty once the little beads are on so I will be stitching this one and hopefully I won't get too tired of it and start stitching the second one from this collection and maybe in the future I will order the larger piece the middle one that is much bigger and longer and then I'll have a full set of three so yeah so this is what I've done for last two days of stitching um okay i'm having a little trouble breathing i'm having some you know breath uh stuff going on maybe it's about my pregnancy maybe it's just the way i'm sitting right now because it's not really comfortable for me with a belly but we'll do our best anyways let's see what i've been stitching after this so my favorite Himera out of all projects that I've been stitching. I do not understand why, but I am just loving this project and I am progressing with it very, very well considering that I have been stitching it not for that much, you know, not so long, I guess. I know how to say it. I, I didn't really know what exactly I wanted to say. But considering the amount of stitches, it's kind of a small piece because the fabric is so, you know, the count is so small. But it is a very big and complicated project still because it has a lot of blends. It has a lot of singles. So it's not much different than a uh, Hayed or something difficult like that but I don't know what's wrong with my camera I think it looks a little strange anyways um this is what I've been doing today let's see oh and tomorrow N not tomorrow yesterday <laughs> let's see on saga how much I've done am I wrong it's looking like grainy so okay um 17.6 percent are finished just a little more and I cross 12 20 and that will be so fun anyways the pattern opens and this is what I have so let's open my timeline so all of that I've done in 29 days of stitching not you know day after day but still 29 stitching days and I think that's a very good amount considering that this is a pretty big project so today and yesterday and yesterday yeah and um, on the 19th i've stitched 912 and today the, tw the 20th i've stitched 878 so that's a very good amount i think 
it's a very very good amount altogether i have two twenty two thousand five hundred and forty seven half crosses stitched and that is so good <laughs> i am very proud of myself 17.61 percent done and i am happy so well, two days of stitching are over. I don't really know what I'm going to stitch tomorrow. Maybe I'll stitch some of my Sakura. Maybe I'll do some Himera. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I am ordering two new kits. Um, I'm not going to tell you my plans for now. Hopefully they will ship soon because I've already ordered them. But um, I just have this idea of what I want to do so we'll see how it will turn up and yeah so that's my update for today tomorrow is Friday it's almost the weekend and we'll have some good stitching time so I will see you tomorrow hopefully I'll have something interesting to show you if not I, <laughs> I hope I will anyways so have a great night and I will see you next Hey guys, so today is Saturday. It's actually the end of the day and this will be my last video for this crafty week. But um, I've decided to update you for the last two days for yesterday and today. And this is the project that I was stitching yesterday. This is my Haed uh, Beloved, as they called it. I don't really remember how they called it on the Haed side, site. <laughs> Um, you can let me know if you know, but um, the chart, I guess, that I found, digital chart, uh, online was called Beloved, so I'm calling this project Beloved, and as you can see, I've actually stitched quite a bit yesterday, and I progressed quite a, quite a bit with it, and this is what I have, so his face is almost done and we're going to be moving back to the dark side <laughs> back to the ha hair and the black and the grays and the darks and I don't like that but um that's fine we will manage and I will finish this eventually <laughs> just like I did my um Asian fantasy one which was one of my favorite projects Ever. It's beautiful and I am in love with that one. So this one will be beautiful as well. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a little short of breath, but you know, pregnancy and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you on Saga how much I progressed. Um, this is it. This is the little part that I'm stitching right now. 56.6% are done with and that's a very good amount um it's an easy part to stitch actually plus it's half cross so i love stitching with a half cross and let's see how much i stitched so um the 21st today's the 20th or the 21st i don't even remember gosh so today oh my gosh today is the 22nd Yesterday was the 21st. I don't know what's wrong with my timing. I guess I'm going nuts. <laughs> Anyways, today, I'm sorry, today is the 22nd. And on the 21st, first, uh, which was yesterday on Friday, I stitched 1057 crosses. Which is a very, very good progress for this project. Because I don't stitch it that much. But... This was a good amount. So this is what I have. I think a very beautiful young man. <laughs> or he's a, hel a elf. <laughs> An elf, I guess. So this is project number one for Friday for the 30 21st. Gosh, I cannot think. Next thing that I have stitched yesterday and today I will update you for two days of stitching. So yesterday and today was the next thing. And there it is. This is Riolis, the new kit that I've started this week. And look how much I have done already. I think that this is a very, very good progress. It's kind of, it's an easy stitch basically. Not 
a lot of you know uh, color changes quite a large area for the same color there are blends in here I don't know if you'll be able to see I'll try there you go I think that you can see but the blends are making this a very nice color transformation I mean a gradient so it's going to look very very delicate and a very um, nice I think you can already see the gradient as it goes up plus I think that the next color will be a little darker so the gradient will be um, darkening um, the Sakura is also growing there will be a lot of um, beading on it so it will definitely look very special because I've never done beads on a cross stitch before and this will be my first experience plus I actually never have done different kind of stitches I mean like one thread half cross two thread half cross two thread like three thread everything is in this so this will be kind of a 3d effect project um, I think that it's beautiful. It's not exactly my style, but as for, um, you know, meanwhile, I guess, project, this will be great. And I am loving this. So just for a little resting piece, this is a great project. So we'll see how it grows. I think that it will not take me that long to finish, maybe two, three weeks. And we'll move to the next um, my kits, my new kits are on the way, so maybe after this one, if the kits will arrive on time, um, I will start the pillows, um, spoiler, <laughs> uh, but, um, if not, I will start the next project from this series and we'll see about that. Now, next thing that I was doing today is going to be a surprise and ta-da! This is my Joy Sunday kit, the one that I said that I will not be stitching for now. Uh, but I actually was sitting in my uh, pink room, I guess, and the computer table that I have there was giving me an idea. So I kind of laid the frame on the table and I was just sitting by the table. I never stitch next to a table sitting on a chair, but this one something happened with it and I just wanted to stitch it a little bit so I just again laid the upper side on the table and put this one on my lap or something like that I guess it's more it's more on my belly <laughs> but it was kind of comfortable though it makes your back hurt because you're sitting on a chair but still it was giving me an idea that I really want to purchase a floor stand in the future or some kind of stand for a frame. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to do that somewhere in the future. But for now, I don't have it. So I did stitch a bit of it in the first part of the day, like morning time. And basically, I haven't done something that special. I haven't even took a picture of what I had before just because I wasn't planning on stitching it but what I did was uh, try to fill in all the white around here just so I can roll the frame again and like get to these parts like the stones on the upper side so as you can see this is what I've been stitching all the white crosses um, they do look kind of straight but I still Thing that I can see the fabric <laughs> um, I'm sure that when I'll wash it and the color from behind will disappear it will not be that noticeable especially under the whites but I hate white thread and I hate black thread though the blacks on this are sitting pretty well the dark ones I don't know I like the coverage it's not my favorite but I like it so this is what I have this is basically the area that I was stitching and then I went up here and as you can see I haven't finished it finished it because I had to uh, do something else so I just dropped it but I need to finish this little thing and then maybe move to some of these little 
areas that I need to fill in and then I'll be able to roll it again like roll the fabric down here um yeah so um again just like last week I haven't been doing much of my diamond painting it's kind of on delay for now um I don't know why I'm taking a break from diamond painting I guess um don't really have the crazy urge to stitch it um for some reason I'm not sure why but maybe next week but that's what I said last week so I don't know um I don't know the reason why I don't really feel like doing it maybe because I'm getting too tired maybe because I do a lot of stitching and I don't you know have the strength to do diamond painting at the end of the day or maybe because I'm just not that you know fine with what I'm coming up with with that particular um kit so I don't know the reason exactly but I just don't feel like doing it maybe I'm just need needing a break for that um anyway so I I did do a little bit of just a tiny little bit piece but nothing that I would like to show you because there's not much of a progress in there so maybe let last week <laughs> maybe next week I will be able to show you something interesting so yeah so this is the end of my crafty week hopefully it was interesting hopefully um so give me thumbs up write comment subscribe to my channel that would really help us grow as a family <laughs> as a crafty family and hopefully you are enjoying it um i will see you in my next crafty week have a great week and be <laughs> and have great stitchy week too i don't i i want to say something and i just keep losing my you know thoughts <laughs> anyways i'll see you next week